Hi everyone, my name is Matt Saletti. I'm a product specialist for Native Instruments. Today we are looking at the Machine Studio. Let's take a closer look at some of the features. The first thing to notice about the Machine Studio hardware is that you have these two gorgeous high-res color displays that you can now see all the pertinent information right from the controller without having to look at the software screen on your laptop or computer. If we want to see the arrange, for instance, we can look at our entire arrangement, follow the song through scene or pattern mode. We can look at the entire mix of a group at the group level or the sound level, so we can actually mix on the fly. Browsing has never looked better. Now you have thumbnails for all the complete instruments, so it's much easier to go through and see exactly what kind of instrument you want to get to, load it up with ease. You can even use the jog wheel to scroll through the different presets of any of the plugins. Lastly, on the sampling page, you have even more information now on the screens where you can get in and really edit fine detail all of your samples. In addition to the screens, you have a new level section. So right away, we can reach for our master, group, send, or cue levels and adjust them accordingly from this knob. Additionally, you have inputs for your different inputs coming in for sampled material. And then lastly, the jog wheel is a nice addition to be able to come through, browse through your arrangement, scroll through your tracks, but it also is a multi-function where you can tune, volume, browse, edit, all the functions that you'd want right from this jog wheel controller. In the software, there's been some huge updates. So from the ground up, it's been rebuilt with a brand new audio engine, sounds better than ever, and you have improved routing among the sounds and pads, so you can do things like the brand new uh, sidechain inputs. So for instance, if you want to throw a sidechain compressor on one of the tracks, it's very easy to get in here, select your inputs, and if we switch to the brand new Navigate plugin view window, you can see all your plugins on the screen and you're able to actually go in and adjust all your effects and VST instruments. You can see here from the complete bundle, all of the complete instruments have a brand new GUI that is optimized for use inside of this mix view. One of the great new additions as well has been unlimited groups and unlimited effects. So you can see a more complex arrangement like this. I can actually go in and choose which groups I want to use. And maybe I only want a specific sound on one group and that's it. It's very easy to control your mix without having everything crammed into 16 sounds in one group and trying to work with it like that. In addition, you also have unlimited effects. So we're not hindered by the amount of plugins we can put on any sound group or master level anymore. One of the reasons why we can do so many unlimited groups and effects now is because Machine 2 software also has multi-core support. This is a big important step up as far as old projects you've used in the past. Now you can actually load in far more plugins. Uh, in fact, projects I used to use that were going into the red on Machine 1.8 are now barely even denting my CPU processing. So it's really nice. I don't feel limited in any way to being able to fully do a mix, especially doing a mix down or anything like that, adding as many uh, processing plugins as I, as I would need and deem fit. Another great addition is the drum synth. So Machine now has set up with five drum synths. And these all have different engines. If I go to a blank group and we hit shift browse, you can see you have a kick, snare, hi-hat, tom, and percussion drum synth. Each of these have different engines inside of them as well to control. If we come to the Navigate page, we can actually see a detailed view of what's happening here. So for instance, you want a big boomy 808 kick, you can put it on the sub engine. Tune up and down, choose the amount of decay, bend, attack, all the important parameters that you would need to get in there and tweak right away. There's something to be said for the immediacy of these drum synths. You can obviously do drum synthesis with any virtual instrument plugin uh, synthesizer like that. 
Um, but to have these parameters specified is a real treat and it's very easy to get in and control and change the sound in an instant to sound exactly how you want. It's not only for just synthetic sounds. You can also use this for acoustic sounds. Whether you want your snares to be for acoustic emulations or anything else like that. You also have more synthetic ones if you want to actually get crazy and do some sound design. You can kind of turn these sounds into almost melodic leads. So just very controllable, very usable, and tons of fun. They sound great. Everything you know and love about the machine sequencer is still there. The pattern creation is easy as ever. There's new options for the step mode. We can easily select events now. We can nudge and move events. Much easier detail using the jog wheel and the editor, and again, seeing it all on the high-res color displays. So that was a quick look at Machine 2 software and Machine Studio. If you have any further questions on Machine or any Native Instruments product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.